So, a project aimed at promoting the rights of Nigerians in the digital sphere, harnessing opportunities and addressing challenges provided by new technologies has been introduced. The e-rights project is, is to provide a safe platform for human rights defenders to report and monitor issues of digital rights breaches. Celestina Iria reports. The Enhancing Digital Rights and Nigerian Project, formerly known as the e-rights project, is being implemented by lawyers without borders, France, with the support of the European Union in Nigeria. It is aimed at monitoring issues of data privacy breaches, cyber threats, internet shutdowns, and threats to the social media space, and to ensure prompt response to cases reported. To achieve this, a situation room of CSOs, lawyers, academics, tech platform providers, and government partners were established for effective collaboration and coordination of digital rights issues. Today, the e right project has officially been launched. If you are to see it, the target groups and beneficiaries of this project are lawyers and judges, activists, government agencies, social media influencers, Nigerian internet users. We're going to be dealing with issues such as freedom of expression online. We are going to be dealing with uh, online violence particularly against children, against vulnerable groups. We're going to be preferring solutions dealing with uh, technological platforms to ensure that uh, we have online spaces, we have digital innovations that respect human rights. We need the spaces that we are using, the some spaces that we are using before to protest, to communicate, to articulate our demands, our priorities, our needs to government. The same spaces that civil society actors are using to hold their leaders accountable. The implementation area of this project is the FCT, Lagos, Kano and Imo states. 2023, awareness and consciousness about engaging on your rights were a lot more. I mean, you can see the figures being reeled out today that almost about 86, uh, 84 to 86 percent of Nigerians are in the digital space. I don't think that was the same number in 2019. So what it could mean is that more people are able to talk about uh, violation of their rights. Cyberbullying, stalking and harassment are some of the attendant effects of digitalization, most notably social media. The target outcome of this project is to create an enabling environment for enjoyment of digital rights in Nigeria. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.